Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted unto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. So, why do you think you will not be poor? I'm hardworking. I graduated with first class. That is a good reason, but not good enough. If the world you were living in was a kind world where meritocracy will have its cause at all times, then you can give that as a reason. But the Bible says, now we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. That someone will look at you just for the color of your skin or where you come from or a vendetta between him and somebody you once knew and you were connected to will decide to punish you transgenerationally. What then becomes the basis of your confidence? You are in an office that you are the only Christian out of many Muslims. What gives you room to believe that you will even rise to a managerial level? Now you tell me that Daniel in Babylon was exalted and he reigned through the dispensation of three or four kings. You are speaking like a believer. Please everybody shout it, say it is written. I want you to enter your spirit, say it is written. Say God said. This must be your approach. The moment, the moment you want to stand true and stand confident, don't just stand on emotions. What makes you believe that 2023 will not be like 2022? Don't worry, we are still in August. You will be shocked that December will reach and it will still look like last year. And next year will still look like the year before. Your deciding factor is first this knowledge. I know what God has said. 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 There are many people claiming to be matured believers and yet they are completely ignorant. God does not play politics. He will not manipulate your way into this thing. This is the prescribed protocol. It starts with the knowledge of these promises. Hallelujah. Are we learning? The knowledge of the promises. Man of God, what gives you confidence that ministry will thrive in Lagos? What gives you confidence that the members that love you and come to you now will still be there after five years knowing that the heart of man is desperately wicked what gives you the basis to believe that you will be consistent and to grow in ministry in a world where people can say become king over us today and say crucify him tomorrow apostle my church is located in a very good place you have to be blind to not see it there Unfortunately, that does not work with the world of men. Are you getting blessed? My dear sister, what gives you the basis of confidence that you will raise children that will be kings and queens and will serve God? I know my children are blessed. Yes, but what is your basis? I'm not an evil person. Where did they get that from? The question is, where did Cain get his attitude from? Are we together? Show me the scripture that you know that becomes the basis of your confidence that your children will be taught of the Lord and great will be their peace. Hallelujah. I hope you know that Judas was born by a woman. Is that true? I hope you know that wicked heathenistic kings were born by women and as at the time they were babies you would never imagine they would grow to become such wicked people the heart of men it is a risk to live your life on cultural sociological sentiments you must get your life to line up on scripture so back to the man of god i'm speaking to that you know that in the name of jesus everything that you lay your hands to do is it prospers and that Jesus commissioned you as a man of God is that true yes he commissioned you John 15 16 you have not chosen me but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bear fruit this becomes an anchor scripture 
I have been ordained and sent not to go and be a noisemaker, not to be, you know, a, a, a drop of water in the ocean, but to go and bear fruit. I expect to bear fruit in ministry. Hallelujah. If we pray and I say amen and you say amen and I say our prayer has been answered, what makes you believe what you said has been answered? Because you said amen? No. Amen does not answer prayers. Now, you get to scripture. The Bible says, and this is the confidence we have that when we ask anything according to his will, is that true? That he heareth us. Another confidence, Mark chapter 11 and 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them. This is what it means to be a believer, that your life is surrounded by the knowledge of scripture. You do not take action in ignorance. It will be a waste of time. Before you take action, okay, you've started your business, for instance, and God has given you a big space, and you're about to start sending a text to customers to say, just to let you know that now your whole, your, 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 your items, food items can now be found in this store. Does not bring them. No. They can even send you texts and say, you mean it, that thing you said, you are now doing it, congratulations, and they will never come to buy anything from you. Do you know why? Because except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city, the watchmen watch it, but in vain. It is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow, but he giveth his beloved sleep. Rather than saying, I have 50 people who assured me that they will patronize me. That is a risk. You, are, you want to give yourself high blood pressure for nothing. You go to scripture and find out in the name of Jesus Christ. What does the Bible say? As far as my excelling, as far as all of these things are concerned. And you start looking for scriptures. The works of your hands are blessed. What grace came upon Jesus that got a crowd from their homes and they came to meet him in the desert? What grace came upon Noah's ark that the animals left the wilderness on their own volition? Do you know the stress Noah would have gone through calling the animals? Because their languages differ. The same way the languages of your customer differ. Rather than just believing that they will come based on sentiment, you will access that hear ye him anointing. The grace that can rest upon a man and compel people from the highways and the byways and to bring them to patronize what God has given you. There is a more superior approach that translates to victory. Do you believe what I'm sharing with you? So the first key when you want to engage light is that you must press for knowledge. The knowledge of the promises, the knowledge of these spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Let's go to number two very quickly. The second key very quickly is you must press to know the conditions you must press to know the conditions connected to the manifestation of the promises the conditions connected please write this down and do not forget the conditions connected to the manifestation of these blessings these promises every promise in scripture has a condition connected to it. Why does God put conditions to promises? So that it will never look like he's forcing it on you. Conditions activate the power of your will so that you can choose to accept or choose to reject. As many as received him, that means not everybody will receive him and he will respect it. You can choose to say, Jesus, I have listened to your salvation plan and as an act of my will, I reject you. He will respect you. Only that you go to hell. Hallelujah. Do you know you can choose as an act of your will to end your life now by just standing in front of a running train and except by the intercession of someone, you will die truly. You decided, there are people who decided that today I want to die and they really died and God was watching on the throne. 
most people do not know the power of the will that God gave man at the expense of your eternal destiny he still left you to choose that with all that I've done for you you can choose to reject me there were two thieves on the on the cross remember one was a foolish thief the other one was a repentant remember the story now yes and for the one who opened and acknowledged that he was a sinner Jesus said today you will be with me in paradise you would think he would pity the other one because both of them were dying anyway no the knowledge of the conditions please say conditions the knowledge of the conditions there are conditions connected to every scriptural blessing there are conditions connected to every scriptural blessing there are conditions connected to every scriptural blessing for instance you want to receive an anointing an impartation from a man of god there are conditions the condition is beyond just packaging a seed the biblical conditions for the transference of grace from one vessel to the other is number one honor number two service you see that now there are people who do not have any and yet they want impartations so because you are disturbing the man of God he will just lay his hands and say it is well but the man of God too knows that truly nothing left him to you hallelujah as a minister of the gospel there are conditions that are connected to your rising and you're excelling it's a network of promises that make you excel in ministry there is the place of diligence study to show yourself approved unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth there is a place for relationships he that desires friends must also show himself friendly is that true yes there is a network of possibilities that turn you into a great minister of the gospel but to every one of those blessings there are conditions there are conditions there are conditions there are conditions most believers know the promises but they ignore the conditions and they keep crying and say God till now and God says you will only have the readiness to judge all disobedience if and when your obedience is complete Ten lepers meet Jesus on the way and then he looks at them and says go and show yourself to the priest and as they got up the Bible says while they went they saw that a miracle happened you see that but only one remembered that ah gratitude programs benevolence is sustains kindness let me come back and say thank you and he came back and met Jesus the Bible said Jesus was passing you thought after that instruction he would go he was still there waiting and as soon as they came he said were there not ten of you where are the other nine meaning he expected something are we together now yes sir there are conditions conditions connected you want God to favor you there are conditions to favor people just say that favor is unmerited that's not entirely true I've proven it again and I've shown you from scripture Proverbs 13 15 good understanding procured favor but the way of the transgressors is hard it takes good understanding for you to have favor what is favor to command the desire of people compelling them to show you unusual kindness to grant you unusual access and to give you or show you unusual acceptance that is favor and it's not just about prayer alone there are principles that make for favor number one is that to the degree to which you are valuable you stand a greater chance to be in favor you see that now favor responds to value you can pray favor provoking prayers you can know and understand relationships and it can help enhance favor so there are many people who are saying I am favored I am favored they don't know anything about relationships they would drive every destiny helper from their life and yet they'll say God why is favor not locating me you've heard me give this example there are unbelievers who will travel from anywhere to anywhere 
to celebrate the birthday of a two-year-old son of a CEO somewhere. Let's be honest. So is that baby the mate of that man? He left his busy schedules and came and you see him play. Baby, how are you? Is it, is it really the baby he came to play with? He understands that favor is relational. That everything multiplies on the basis. Right there in that birthday ceremony, the CEO would look at him and say, by the way, come. That contract we're about to discuss, you know, we did not finish. There and then. Whereas there's somebody shouting behind his house and saying, God, you must come through. There are principles that make these promises become real. I hope you understand what I'm saying. There are many people who desire spiritual power, for instance, but their prayer lives down, fasting life down, are we together? Consecration down, diligence to get knowledge down, forget about genuine power, genuine authentic power, if these things are not there. These are the irrefutable keys if you desire power. If you want an answer, you must ask a question. Is that true? Yes. Dr. Modok will say a question is a seed for an answer. If you ask me a question, then you are ready. You are entitled to an answer. I'm saying all of this so that you will ask yourself, do I know these exceeding great and precious promises? And if you do, have I found out, listen, the responsibility component in your Christian work must never be ignored. What has God said to do to commit him? You must know it. There are two kinds of knowledge. The knowledge of the promises and the knowledge of the conditions. The knowledge of the promises and the knowledge of the conditions. The knowledge of the promises, the blessings and the knowledge of the conditions. If they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity, their days in prosperity, their years in pleasure. You cannot want prosperity and pleasure from God's standpoint and then you are unwilling to obey him and to serve him. No. The Bible says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. You are not living to declare the works of the Lord. You are not a worker in church. You are not participating in any pro-kingdom activity. You are putting yourself at risk already. Hallelujah. Honor your father and your mother in the Lord, that your days may be long and it shall be well with you. You have dishonored everybody around you, from pastor to parents, and you say, in Jesus' name, I will not die. You are joking. You, you see what we keep doing in church? We quote scriptures and disobey the conditions. No. 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 There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. Don't expect increase if you do not scatter. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. Are we together now? When I found this, it was a missing link in my life and it, it changed my life completely. Every time I study scripture, I don't just study to know the blessing or the promises. I also study to find out the condition. Add this to your study of scripture and you will watch your life change. So that when you are praying now, most of the prayer is not God. When are you going to? Is it that we are? Is it that you don't like me? Just tell me. Let me know that uh, you did not die for me. And, you know all those things we say in the place of prayer. Of course, God is compassionate, but I am telling you, from a standpoint of intelligence, there is always something to do to commit God. There is always something to do to commit God. I repeat, there is always something to do to commit God. Wise people always ask God what to do. Not just will he do it. He will. But what do I need to do? Good master. What do I do to inherit eternal life? Connecting the promises and their manifestation is th the knowledge of that instruction. What do I need to do? Jericho can come down. But whether it will come down or not depends on your ability to hear the condition connected to that victory. Defeating Jericho is true. Whether Jericho, you are defeated by Jericho or not, it does not matter. The most important thing is that if you want to command victory over Jericho, then you must hear from God and know how to walk around seven times. 
you want to cross the Red Sea, that possibility is there. But you must know how to take the risk. I hope you know, Bible history tells us that it's not that the, the river just parted and they started walking. They had to start walking by faith for the river. To, imagine if you were the first person. It's easy to be somewhere in the crowd. Hey, let's go. But the first person there. Like you are the first person to break out of certain things in your family now. But you must learn how to walk. It's easier to pass through the Red Sea. At least you can swim. What of walking on water? If it be thou, bid me come. And they said, come. And Peter got up. Hallelujah. Those who know this are the ones whose lives become an unending wonder. You will literally see their lives as living epistles. And it will be as though God isolated them and just decided to bless them. Oh. When God, you know, when it was time for God to move me to Abuja, I went to God to pray because I know that as far as as dominion territorial dominion and the manifestation of the word of god is concerned i know that god does not fail his word is true whether it will work or not depends on my knowledge of what he has said did he not say everywhere the soles of your feet treads upon that i have given it unto you is that true but he says, I have given you this land. He now said, begin to possess it. That means I must know the dynamics of possessing territories. God has given it to you. Look at how God was sharing lands for people with giants still there. You, this is your own. And he was acting as if there were no giants. Okay, there are giants here, but you for this tribe, this is your own portion. What you would do with the giants to, 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 to you know, are we together now? It is up to you to go back to him again and say, God, you are the one who gave me. You were aware that there were giants. What should I do now with these giants? Most people are aware of the instruction, I mean the, the provision, and then we start running. And you get there and find the giant and say, come, we're waiting for you. And we stand there to say, God, this is unfair. How do you send me to a land flowing with milk and honey, with the anakims there? These were beasts with six fingers and six toes. Joshua and Caleb said, let us go up as once. We are well able. The same God who gives you, the, who tells you about what to do, can empower you to walk in that instruction. Hallelujah. Something you are yet to do is why you are where you are. Something you are yet to do is why you are where you are. Please find a way of believing that I'm not playing games with you. Something you are yet to do is why you are where you are for some of you the something that is left is for you to sing praises and roll before God before the miracle happens for some of you the something that is left for you to do is to thank God for what he has done so far while trusting him for the one he's yet to do something you are yet to do for some of you, you need to take a seed by faith and with understanding and engage it and say the seed bruises the head of the serpent. There is something you are yet to do. For some of you, you are yet to study to show yourself approved. For some of you, you are yet to contend for higher levels of impartation. But by all means, ladies and gentlemen, settle it and know this for a fact that something you are yet to do is why you are where you are. This is something I had to tell myself and to take responsibility by the Spirit. Is God helping someone? And is God challenging someone? What is number three? So number one, the knowledge of the promises, the spiritual blessings. Number two, the knowledge of the conditions that commit God on your behalf. Are you ready for number three? Number three, the faith to engage the promises so that they deliver. The faith to engage the promises so that they deliver. The faith to engage the promises so that they deliver. The faith to engage the promises so that they deliver. Isaiah 1 19 Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 19 
if ye be willing look at this disturbing scripture he never said go and eat the good of the land he says if ye be willing and obedient that is one word that describes faith if ye be willing and obedient he said ye shall eat the good of the land every land has good but whether the portion will come to you or not depends on your willingness and your obedience faith to engage the promises so that they deliver we consider job 36 and verse 11 remember if they obey and serve him that is the condition connected to spending your years in prosperity your days in pleasure if they obey and serve him hallelujah if i bring a package here maybe some meal in a leather and i say the condition to receive it here is by 12 20 on the dot you run and come up stage here and pick it up the first thing you need is the knowledge that this is even aware that you the, the awareness that this is even there am i right then number two the knowledge of the conditions but you can know the condition and still sit down there and yet not get it out of this crowd the first person who will run in this example now assuming i'm holding it and once it is 12 20 somebody will be discussing the condition i know i am telling you you just go around in fact there is a stairway you climb up and while he's discussing somebody from nowhere will run and come and pick it up and then you say it's not fair i know the blessing i know the conditions but you did not work in keeping i will only release it to the one who actually gets here physically not the one who talks about getting here are we together write this down please obedience to God's word is the only way to commit God's integrity to perform I'll take it again obedience to God's word is the only way please if you're writing on the line only way obedience to God's word is the only way to commit God's integrity to perform you want to see God's power, His grace, His word manifest in your life, it will be at the instance of obedience. There's a statement that I wrote down here and I think it's important that we get. No amount of sacrifice will substitute for the place of obedience. No amount of sacrifice will substitute for the place of obedience. No amount of sacrifice will substitute for the place of obedience. Hallelujah. Till today, every time I have the opportunity to fellowship with the Lord and study scripture and in the place of prayer, I am asking him, Lord, what is the next level of my life? What is the next level of ministry the moment he tells me the next thing i ask him thank him for that one and i say lord what is the role i have to play this is responsible christianity what is the role that i have to play and god will say your own role is to make sure for instance serve the people with truth wake up and learn and study i will not bring people's to you and you will teach them nonsense and waste their time i love you but i love them too you see that so for as long as i obtain grace and i'm studying i am partnering with god you see your faith is your partnership with god to make his promises good in your life obedience is your partnership with god to make his promises good in your life There is nothing God cannot do. The only challenge is most believers are in ignorance, ignorance of his promises. They think God lied when he said it is finished. Or number two, ignorance of the conditions desired or required to engage those promises. And then the grace 
and the faith to take actual steps God can speak to you for instance you can be praying and say Lord what is the key to the next level of my life and God can tell you the key to the next level of your life is to open a business in the mainland and in the island that can be God's instruction and while he's saying it you may not have one naira to know that God has said this you go and now get scriptures everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon you see you have now positioned yourself with scriptures Lord what is the condition how is this going to come and you journey through scripture how did people who have nothing how did resources enter their hands you go to look at Egypt Egypt was broke for 430 years and in one day abundance entered their hand how did that happen what makes an empty hand to have plenty Exodus 3 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty now you know your next prayer point hallelujah yes and then you know that relationships are the greatest platform for transferring anything from one person to the other and then you begin to pray Lord this destiny help us in the name of Jesus I am valuable but the person to identify my value and to honor me like the wine presser begin to bring them to my life this is intelligent and responsible Christianity and then you take a step of faith you come around the mainland and at least try to identify a store you go to the island you identify a store and you say Lord I have found a place I cannot take any step but just to let you know that I believe you enough you will marvel and wonder at the miracle that will happen somebody will get up and say I was sleeping yesterday and the Lord gave me an instruction that you are about to do a project he said I should stop when you come to testify in church people look at you as if you are just stage managing it but the truth is that those who know how to walk by faith never are never bankrupt of testimonies we can spend all day and all night here and I will tell you miraculous things that God has done in my life and in the life of several people who have dared to believe him God is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent God is showing someone in this conference the missing link that it is not as if God is unfaithful or unrighteous no no it is that we have not understood the way we convert spiritual blessings forever I remain aware you see that that everything I desire to happen in my life is already finished in Christ if it is not finished in Christ there is no basis for asking for it because the only platform for your asking especially for the New Testament believer is Christ alongside that which he has done there is nothing you cannot there's no mountain If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not a man to stop doing Hallelujah. You believe this? That right where you are, it is in your prophetic destiny for God to give you a global visibility to lift you and take you to the nations but you have to believe that 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 reality is true in Christ forget about your current situation everybody started from somewhere yours is to believe him when you do the next thing is to find out what are the conditions connected what are the conditions connected hallelujah this is what I believed about myself even when I was in one room when I read in scripture that I'll be exalted above all the nations of the earth I believed him I really did I believed him and I was not ashamed of my growth and my transition I made up my mind that I believe him because God is not a man I remember many many years ago I was sitting somewhere in Zaria I never entered a plane in my life and I saw a plane passing and I remember the Lord speaking to me 
and said many people enter the plane for many reasons but my word will put you in that plane. it's true this is not about flying it's about what God can do there is someone you are sitting down right now locked up with prophecies God has told your parents they will not die till they see God lift you. And you are, you, are, you are interrupting what God has said because you have refused to believe him. There is a man of God here. God is telling you that this domain called Lagos, don't say there are plenty churches. It's none of your business. Yours is what God has said that he's doing with you. Hallelujah. I believe God. Oh. I do. I do. When I found the key, I began to practice responsible Christianity. God, you would do it. That's wonderful. But that is just consolation. Believe me. Hallelujah. The Lord told me something that he told Joshua. I remember three or four years ago, I was preparing for my birthday and the Lord, the word of the Lord came to me and he said, I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side when he said that i believed him that today i will begin to magnify you before the nations when he said that i first received it and i prayed and i said lord you are able to lift show me what i need to do not oh god thank you i know you will do it and then you go around bragging and say i know what god told me and your life will be left in shame and disappointment and people will say this noise you have made now and you will misrepresent god through pride in ignorance most people have brought reproach to themselves and to the name of the lord they come out and they shout god said this it's true he said it but if you do not know the conditions and you do not engage it by faith you will marvel and wonder at the kind of disappointment that trails your life hallelujah this man standing before you by the privilege of God's grace I have seen the hand of God I have stood before kings I have stood before heads of states I have stood before nobles like God said I don't say it to brag I'm inspiring someone God is too serious to play with you God is too serious to be joking and playing games. It's just that most of us do not know that when God speaks, he really means what he's saying. Hallelujah. The performance is only for them that believe and act in faith. Them that believe and act in faith. Them that believe and act in faith. There are many people today trusting God for financial resources for many things. And if you tell them, let me show you the pathway, they will say, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a serious person. And, and yet the result is not there. You see, let me tell you, if the result is not there, just humble yourself and learn. Humility does not kill. Our world is full of a lot of arrogance in the midst of ignorance. One thing you cannot disprove is results. Hallelujah. You may have heard my testimony. One time I was talking to a man and, you know, the man was in a serious situation economically and I was trying to lovingly just share with him to say, Sir, would you consider approaching it this way, this way, this is what the word of God says. And the man said, no. He said, do you know what it means to take care of two children? And I looked at him with compassion in my heart. He said, this man will kill himself for nothing and blame God. See, the person who is in a hole and someone who is outside watching is in a hole and he's not agreeing that I'm in a hole and you're saying I can help you out this is the state of many believers I hope and I pray that those that are here seated are not part of those people that when you hear his voice you know for someone as you are hearing me that prophet in you is saying this is the key it's time to manifest that glory and that grace that apostolic grace, that sign and wonder that God has ordained you to be, that kingdom financier, that captain of industry, it is true that his light can come and it can shine in darkness. It's up to you to argue it, explain it away, or believe it with childlike faith and watch the God of wonder arise and surprise you. As for me, I've made up my mind that this word must work in my life. 
and I'm about to prove to a generation by the Spirit that God is not a liar. It may take time, but yours is to press in truth and watch the God of heaven surprise you in ways that you cannot imagine. I do not know any man who has been lifted by God who has ignored the knowledge of the promises of God. I do not know any man who has been lifted by God who has ignored understanding the conditions connected to divine promises to make them true in his life. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I sincerely sympathize with your pain and any setback you may be having in your life, but I submit to you by the authority of scripture, wishing and attracting sympathy will only comfort you sociologically, but will not change that situation. One day ego beta is a mediocre consolation. It will not work that way. The secret to change is engaging light. For as long as you keep discussing darkness, this room is dark. I think we will do something about it. Darkness remains there. The one, the one who does not even talk and yet is fixing a bulb and making sure he puts it on is the one who will have that room lit. Neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel but upon a lamp stand so that it will give light to everybody in that place. You can engage light in every aspect of your life. The word of God is full of testimonies of men and women who engaged this light. God spoke to them. They believed him. They found out the conditions attached. They engaged it with understanding. Can I tell you, when you see a man who is determined to follow this protocol of engaging the light, no matter what is not working in their lives, I am telling you, you just keep watching. You will watch with your own eyes the way they begin to triumph in experience from one level of victory to the other. Our fathers have taught us this. They have demonstrated it with their own lives. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember I was one of, on one of my trips. I had the privilege to go to one of the redeemed campgrounds. And when I saw the vast campground that they bought, I said, my God, this scripture that wherever the sole of your feet treads upon, that thing is true. Whether it works for you or not is not an issue. You see, while you are there blaming God, there are people saying, thank you, Jesus, because the word is working. Are we together? Yes. If you buy a bottle of Coca-Cola or any of this drink and you try to use your teeth to open it and it's hurting you, you'll be blaming the company. You were not supposed to use your teeth to open it. Just because you don't know how, you see that you can hurt your teeth, even break your teeth, and you are angry. What wicked people, how can they make this, this, um, this top so hard like this? And you try and try and try. You see, if someone watches you, he will hate that company. Because you say, how can they be so wicked to package such a nice product that way? And then you will see a little boy come with something called an opener. Am I right on that? And just push it and then it's up. And you stand there it's up to you to argue well it's just an exemption or to learn a lesson and say next time your teeth was not meant to be that it worked once does not mean that's the way it works god just showed you mercy and your teeth opened it once one day you will try it and his blood that will come out you see that but for the person who has an opener you are not afraid of how many bottles you have to open because the opener does not get tired the opener does not feel pain. This is how certain people have laid hold on eternal life. They have mastered the art of working with God. No matter what instruction he gives them, they know the formula already. Believe his promises, believe the conditions, engage by faith, leave the rest to God. Just saying, God, you said it and I believe it honestly. I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but it does not settle it. It is what he said that you believe you understand what he has said and the conditions to engage it then you obtain grace from god and walk in keeping obediently fulfilling the conditions that engage god now you can go to bed and watch the god of heaven arise for you apply this to any area of your life and watch this god visit you and surprise you this is what we have done with our lives with childlike faith 
and have continued to transit from one level of grace to the glory of God. And it is only the beginning of greater things to come. With this childlike faith, we have seen the sick healed. With this childlike faith, we have seen nations change. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching